ditching a good man for a good time what is up yam squad welcome to another video i hope you guys are all doing swell uh, in this video we're going to talk about ditching a good man for a good time now through the mistakes of others i think one can learn a lot uh, i want this channel to be somewhat of a guide a guide in life when you're feeling a little bit down pop into the channel and there's always going to be entertainment here for you so without further ado guys let's get straight into the video i have a little story time to share after this brief clip for context if your husband is a good guy but you're ready for divorce you're not a bad person so don't let guilt get the best of you i had this friend some years back she was my best friend in the whole wide world. We hung out constantly. I enjoyed her company. Highly intelligent woman, um, quite attractive, married. Husband is very attractive, very successful. Not only did he provide for his family, she didn't work, but he cooked, he cleaned, he took care of the kids. He was emotionally open and available Every time I'd come over and hang out with both of them, you know, he was so talkative and emotive and empathetic. I, I thought, wow, they're the perfect couple in my opinion. I think it's very interesting she said both of them are very attractive. He was available emotionally, uh, financially as well. Uh, so I don't see any red flags here. It sounds like the husband is, you know, doing what he's supposed to do. And that's how it is. It's, that's how it's supposed to be in relationships. You should always go in a hundred percent i don't believe in even if the relationship does crash and burn i still think that you should do try to do the best that you can when it comes to a relationship so it sounds from this perspective that both of them were equals or that's how they started the relationship um two beautiful teenage children perfect life i used to drop things off at her house she would tell me oh can you drop this off and i would go over and he would be in the house cleaning i mean ajax and pine saw and windex and mops out and he would ask me you know demi how does everything look do you, do you think she'll be happy um is this up to a woman's standards of cleanliness you know he said i just love her so much and i, I would say wow you know you're you're really incredible um, of course she's going to be happy. You know, you did an amazing job. You always do an amazing job. The relationship with my friend, something started changing in her. You know, she started talking to me about depression and she's overweight and, and she didn't like it. And it never bothered her husband. I mean, he adored her no matter what, but she started complaining about her weight and this depression and saying that she needs to go to therapy which she did she found a therapist and started going but after she started going to therapy i noticed there was a a dramatic change in her um, she started complaining after these sessions she would begin complaining more and more about her husband and how he's making her miserable and, and I would say to her, what do you mean? This is all of a sudden new for you since you started seeing this new therapist. So I started inquiring about the therapist. You know, what are her beliefs? Um, and she said, oh, she's very feminist. And then within a couple of months, you know, my friend began spiraling. Um, things got weirder and weirder for her. She was complaining more and more about her husband. Um, how he's making her miserable, how he's keeping her fat, how he is to blame for her depression. And, and no matter what I would say to her, I would always like reach some kind of dead end. She would come at me with something else. I don't know, like uh, there I can say 100% from this perspective, it's, she's 100% she's in the wrong because it's not his fault that you are fat. You're the one which is putting all the cupcakes in your mouth uh, you're you're the person which is actually destroying your body I don't think he's sitting and he's feeding you at night trying to keep you fat and then she started talking about divorce that she'll be happy and her depression will lift and she'll finally be able to lose the weight once she gets rid of her husband and <laughs> I was trying so hard to talk to this woman and she would get angry with me 
And I said to her one day, I don't want to say her name, but I said, hey, you know, what is it that he does that is so bad? Please just put it into words for me. Tell me, what does he do that is so bad? And she couldn't think of anything. And she sat there for a couple of minutes pondering. And then she came up with, he leaves apple cores on the nightstand. There's another guy that she's probably interested in this other person and she feels like she just wants her liberation. She just wants to leave. But then she can just say that already from the beginning. Listen, I'm interested in somebody else. I, this is not how I envisioned my life. I did not want this at the end of the day. I think the more direct women are with men, the better. All this like, oh, it's your fault that I'm fat and this and that. I did not shove the f donuts in your mouth. Why, why not just say like, listen, the sex isn't good. Then at least the man knows like, okay, I did what I could have done in this relationship. I did the best that I could have done. But at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. That was all she had. Apple cores on the nightstand because he would eat an apple before falling asleep. So he was making her depressed for whatever reason. He was keeping her overweight for whatever reason. And he would leave apple cores on the nightstand. I tried to implore to her, no, this is no reason. This is no reason. And she started amping up her therapy visits from like once a week to twice a week. And things just got worse and worse till one day she told me we're getting divorced. Therapy is good. Uh, I think everyone should go to therapy because like me and my brother had a conversation about this. Like he's like, I don't understand why therapists should exist. I think it's good. Some people don't really know how to, you know, structure their lives emotionally. And some people, you know, have learned this, right? And if you're a person which have learned this, great for you. But there's some people which are, you know, it's like, in a, in a population, you're going to have what some, you know, people which are mentally handicapped. You're going to have some people which are achieving on, on the highest level. But in a society, you always have a wide range of people and, you know, problems which these people have. Explaining it to him like that, he kind of understood like where I was coming from and which perspective uh, I'm coming from. But what I'm not behind is when a therapist, of course, starts kind of like taking their beliefs and putting it into the session, that is not healthy at all. It's scary how alike we all are. Like I've, I've dated a person like this. There's this story of uh, this man, right? Which is together with his wife. Very wealthy man. They're together 10 years. There's an age gap there. And then, uh, you know, he gets diagnosed with cancer. And at the end, the sixth month, she decides she wants to leave. Why she wants to leave her husband is because he became abusive. Physically, mentally, emotionally, he's abusing me, okay? And I'm thinking, it's weird that he never abused you those 10 years, never. Just when he was on his deathbed and he's about to die, that is when he becomes Okay, he's abusive all of a sudden. This man was devastated. Devastated. He lost his kids. He, of course, had to go through paying the, all the different supports. My friendship with her dissolved. One day we were having brunch and I was expressing what I felt about this and she threw a glass of water at me. And I thought, okay, it's over. And we ended our friendship. And from what I've heard, she went down a spiral. She went through a rampage of sexual activity. Um, did she lose the weight? No. Is she still depressed? When she starts talking about divorce and she's already mentally decided, like, I don't want to be in this relationship. There's nothing more that you can do. And you know, when you start noticing that your girl, you know, every single guy is always there. You start noticing that your girl is just distant. Mentally, she's distant or mentally, she's gone. You know, you should always just say, pack your bags. You know, I love you. Thanks for whatever time that we shared together. 
and leave. There's no point to try to convince a girl because once she, you know, set her mind to something, it's finished. The relationship is is over. So yeah, to end that, that's crazy. Still depressed, still fat, lost her friend, got a divorce, broke a man's heart, started fucking all these people. I don't know, the grass isn't always green on the other side. Um, sometimes you can try to explain certain things to people, but it's very, very difficult when they have made up their mind. Very, very difficult. But anyways, guys, uh, like, comment, and share if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.